Hey, welcome back to Blantleff on in the Circanus Federation on the edge of the periphery. This is episode five of my BattleTech Rogue Tech series, and we're going to quickly uh, just do a couple things here. We're, I remember last time we said we were going to click quickly allocate some uh, points here in the barracks. So uh, go. just going to quickly go through our pilots here and rank some stuff up before we start. And there's only a couple of guys here, I think, that have the ability to rank some stuff up. So we're going to do that. Focus on gunnery, because obviously we're going to need to better to hit chance. Um, now, the other thing, too, is in engineering here, we haven't actually done any upgrades on the ship. Power systems are still down. Mech Bay 2 is down. Training module still down. So I think what I'm going to want to do over the next few episodes is try and focus on getting as much cash as I can. Um, which means choosing choice salvage to sell, things like that. So um, we're going to go to the command center here, hey, and we're going right to our contracts. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to take the forward observers here. It's probably going to be two lances of mechs that we're facing. Um, our scouts have observed local government military units covertly surveying military and industrial targets. This increased activity from the planetary government near several priority facilities suggests a strike is coming soon. We're tasking you with intercepting the scout lances, sorry, the scout lance that's identifying targets and eliminating it before it can report back. We don't have any intelligence about other possible enemy forces on the ground, Commander, so keep your eyes open. So it looks like probably two lances. So we're going to take this battle, uh, and we're going to negotiate some funds here. We're going to go two of eight, and we're going to take 328,000. We're not really close to the end of the, we've got 24 days before the end of the month, but what I want to do is stockpile a bit of cash or like I said because I want to start really working on the Argo and getting a couple things into play so we're just going to accept this I think the first thing we'll do once we get the power systems up and running is we'll get that training module going too so standard Lance we're just going to deploy and see what happens all right so here we are on the ground Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts in We've always got hostile contacts inbound, Darius. Sweep the area, find them, clear them out. So chances are, uh, since I've played this map before, oh yeah, we've got contacts up here and contacts here. So since it's going to take them a while, I mean, they're going to be able to see us from up here. We've got two choices. One, we can engage these guys right away and try and take them out and take the high ground. Or we can move down and across here, which takes a little longer, and get into the woods and just try and get out of range of these guys. Normally that's what I do, but... I, I think today what we're going to do is we're going to attack these guys straight out, get into the water, water, get some cooling going, so we can take these guys out, and then hopefully we can put um, Ground Zero and Flatliner up on the hills here with our long-range weapons to engage the enemy targets down here. So we're just going to reserve. Once again, I don't know if they're going to move. Oh, those guys are moving. But we're going to reserve back to turn one. I think it looks like they're probably all moving. Oh, that guy's moving pretty quick. Well, uh, my guess is those guys are probably either spiders or... Let's just keep reserving. Spiders or um, locusts or hovercraft. But since they've made the decision for me, let's see if we can't get down in here and inflict some pain on these guys before they get a chance to do anything. So what, what if we just move? Yeah, we're not going to see them. So we're going to sprint height in. Um, he's got flamers. can't actually reach them, but that's fine. We just want to be able to spot them and hit them with our big guns. So he should have lots of evasion here when he gets there. Yeah, a pair of spiders it looks like. They got really high evasion. Well, high for this level. Two medium pulses, not full armor. Not for full armor at all and a medium laser. So probably take out that that uh, medium laser guy really quickly so let's move oh they're gonna go oh sorry now I gotta end my turn here um, let's get ground zero down we're just gonna move I think and we're gonna target this guy from a distance now we can go 50% on that guy it's pretty good oh, there's another target back here too and 50 on this guy um, chances are we could probably kill this guy if we get him in a good shot here if we hit him in the center torso, 92 damage would take him out. So let's fire on the guy I think we might be able to kill. That's looking good. Left torso gone. Nice. Yeah, he's not happy. So we're going to follow up, I think. Um, 
Vein Skater, can you, how close can you get? Can you get that other guy? You can, but with what though? The tag, probably, that's it. So let's do that. Let's just move you down, take a shot with the tag. Um, it's only going to give us a little bit more of a chance to hit, but any extra chance is good. So we'll just fire the tag here. Nice. I mean, he's already unstable, so it's not like he's going to be uh, a worry here. So let's get up on the hill here. I think it's a little higher up here. Yeah. So a bit better chance to shoot from up on the up on the hill. So we're going to unload. We've got lots of missiles now, so we're just going to unload with everything. And hopefully take this guy out. Yep. Nice. Guns off the field. One less target. Now we can really start thinking about what we're going to do here. So, oh, that guy's got LRM-5s. So one skull mission. I mean, it could be a medium mech. Looks like the scout lance has got three mechs, which means this lance over here might only have three as well. Or it could be a vehicle. But anyway, let's get in. Uh, actually, I'm going to reserve. See what these guys do. We got some good uh, evasion going already. Reserve again. See if it forces them to move. I think these guys are moving. Yeah, there's a vehicle. Okay, I don't know if that's a Gauss rifle or not. That would be bad. Could be a light Gauss. Tag. And I don't even see that guy. No idea what it is. You're going to jump, are you? Well, heat yourself up, make yourself unstable all you want. That's we're good with that. So I think they're probably all going to move and then leave it up to me to see what they're going to do. Uh-oh. What's this guy? Firestar 9T. You're going to punch, really. Sure. Oof. Good thing he missed with those. All right, we got to take this guy off the field now. So let's start. Commander? How about we show him how what we need to do here to be a proper uh, fire starter. We don't punch, we burn. Let's invite him to the barbecue. Plus 88 heat. Nice. Keep them a little toasty there. All right, so what's this guy here? Three chevrons of evasion. So yes, if we just move down a little bit, 63% chance. What's this? Yeah, 63 against this guy too, and he's got five chevrons. How is that? How does that work? It's the same hit chance, although this guy... Why is this flashing? Oh, probably because this guy's in woods and everything too, right? Probably. So let's move down here. I'm going to angle a little bit more to face the guys that are coming up on us. So they don't get a side shot on me. And I think what we'll do, this guy's got two pulses and this guy's got the plasma torches and ER mediums. Let's just take this guy. we got two shots on him instead of just one. So let's fire away here. There goes his left arm. I think I hit something good. All right, Flatliner, let's put some hurt in the dirt here. We're going to move over closer to those other guys, and then we're going to spam right. missiles on that uh, fire starter again. That PPC is doing a really nice job of making these guys unstable. So let's unload on this guy with everything, well since we're completely heat neutral here. Maybe we can bur burrow in there. Nope. Headshot? No. Critical hit. This just in. Critical hit. Okay, so he's not doing much. Uh, I got a choice. I can either shut him down or I think what we're going to do is pay some attention to the spider. Since this guy's not going to be going till turn three, we got a few shots in him before uh, anything happens. So we're just going to unload on the spider here. Give him a little bit of heat, a little bit of narkin. Nope. No narc. Actually, did we get the beacon on him? We didn't get the... Uh, what's this guy? That's going to be a Jenner with the LRM-5s. 
got like six LRM5s or something like that. Something crazy. Reporting. Serious, armor loss. Serious armor loss. Not really, buddy. So this guy, two medium pulses. Did we get the, uh, what do we got here? Make makeshift overheating. And, okay, we did get the uh, narc pod attached to him. All right, so it's our turn. So height, let's get you moving. We're going to come around behind this guy. Might as well enjoy enjoy uh, having another member at the barbecue here. And we're going to put four on him. I got you. Oh, that was a killer back shot. Holy moly. 45 per shot per hit. Ridiculous. He is not having a good day. So now we have the opportunity to take both these guys off the board. So let's move um, ground zero. We're going to move them. we got to move them. So we're going to move them forward. And I think you're going to shoot. Actually, how badly damaged is this guy here? 23 left on the side and then 100 and something in the center. And this guy, if we CT him, we can't kill him in one shot. He's got a lot of armor. So let's try and CT the fire starter here. We won't be able to kill him. Maybe we just blow his torso off. Let's do that. Let's blow his torso off. Um, and burrow into the center there. Health one of three. Inflicted some heavy damage. Now I think what we're gonna what we're gonna try, since this spider shut down and all he can do this turn is stand up, what we're gonna do is try Ready, to move around here. We'll go this way, and we're gonna do our old try and hit him in the headshot. So if we can get one headshot on this guy, then he's out for good. All we need is one. Just one. 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 Yep, we got it. Nice. So that guy's out of battle. And we got a full mech to salvage too. Cool. Well, almost full. That guy can't do anything else. So now we're going to move Flatliner forward. Hopefully we can get close enough to see somebody over there. We can. Right here. So let's give that guy the good news. There's two vehicles. What's this guy here? Pegasus with a pulse laser and two SRM6s with a really lousy chance to hit. Or the Jenner's got this little better chance to hit. Um, can we take the Pegasus out if we get a lot of. Well, not really. So let's just shoot on the Jenner. He's got weak arms. Maybe we can blow the ar one of the arms off with a. Uh, all the LRMs on it. So let's just fire at him. Hopefully we get a few connects here. Not really. Eh, we had to try. But next turn we're not going to be sprinting and we'll probably move into the water. Yeah, now I don't know if that's a what kind of Gauss rifle that is. So we're going to have to figure that out soon enough. So height is going to waste this guy. Three should probably be enough. Oh, maybe not. Reporting. Critical hit. He's not having a good day, though. Okay. Commander? We'll leave Vane Skater. He's going to go after the same guy, but I want to get... Uh, I want to get Ground Zero involved over here with these guys. So we can probably kill this guy if we hit him. So let's fire with our PPC. That does that. Okay. So now he can't shoot. So it says there's four reinforcements. So there's got to be another... P you know what? I bet it's like the last time he's stuck over here. That's really crappy that that happens on some maps where guys get stuck off the side. But what can you do, right? All right, so we're going to come around the side, and we're just going to unload on the uh, spider again, fire everything. Maybe we get lucky for a head hit. Maybe not. But I think we hit with just about everything. Oh, we knocked him down again. That's good. 
That should knock him out, shouldn't it? Yep. So that guy's gone. It's nice to have those low damage heat weapons um, that you can just pelt someone with and knock them over and heat them up at the same time. So you don't have to worry about like completely destroying the mech when you're trying to to uh, do stuff. So we're, that guy's running. So we're sprinting this time again. It's going to give us a bad chance to hit. Yeah, there is somebody stuck off here. Which kind of sucks. So let's unload with everything. We're completely heat neutral, so... Uh, expose the structure. Please don't shoot. Please don't shoot. Yeah, you're retreating. He's still shooting, though. Damn it! What was that? Was that 33? Or did that say 63? Let's find out. Gotta find out what that was. 17. So that was 63 damage. So that is a full uh, Gauss rifle. We gotta kill that guy. And fast. Alright, height. Let's get some eyes on. Double tap. Let's go. That should be eyes on, right? Regulator! Yeah, and he's got his back and side to me, so I should be able to one-shot this guy as long as I don't hit the front. Alright, so let's reserve, or say done. Now let's bring... What's the best chance to hit here? That's a 69. I'm not going to run. That'll get me in trouble. 56. So I think it's going to be coming over here. We're going to do that. Let's hope we hit him. Trying to take these big damage vehicles off the board early is obviously your best option. Come on, hit, 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 hit. Oh, figures, I got the turret. Damn it. He's going to shoot too. No, he's they're running. Chicken. Oh, what, I got the front. Figures. The only place, well, if I got the turret, it wouldn't have mattered, but... What's up, huh? Let's just sprint you. Let's shoot him with the tag. What the heck? Why not? 13% chance. Oh, he hit too. <laughs> Why can't you do that with everything else? No, this guy's going to be shooting. Oh, he's running. All right. I'm we'll ready. take the running. That's fine. Oh, you'll be able to see him too. Good. Confirmed. So what do we got here? Panther? Panther 5T with a heavy rifle. So I uh, can't do a split shot, so I'm going to unload on the regulator right because now. that Gauss rifle is scarier than the uh, heavy rifle. So that's that guy gone. Reporting enemy vehicle eliminated. Thank you. Nice. Okay, height. Let's get you up here. And I think this Jenner wants to come to the barbecue. I think he's just a little shy. So let's bring him to the barbecue. Full invite. Uh, three hits, not bad. Enough to make a oh head hit too, nice. It's enough to make him think twice about firing anyway. That's all we're trying to do. So Vane Skater can now follow up and get him with a few more. Effectively keeping this guy out of the battle. Come on, give me another head hit. Well, the heat's good, too. All right, round zero. We're going to walk him up. 99% chance to hit. And I'm going to do an offensive push, just in case we don't kill him this turn. I don't know if I want to CT him, though. Let's try it for a headshot. On it. Come on. No, oh, left torso. So hopefully we can knock him down with some missiles. Waiting for orders. Um, if I offensive push him without moving, it's not good enough. We're gonna get closer. Even then, it's not. Uh, it's 47 there. Where are we here? What is it here? It's same, isn't it? No. If we don't move, <sighs> sure, why not? Let's offensive push him. 
We're going to be going tw twice before he does. We're going to go for a headshot and just fire. Might get one on his head or knock him down. There we go. Knock down. And a head hit. That's it. He's going to pass out right here. Oh, couldn't have happened any better than that. Nice. See, he wants to come to the party. He's just not very friendly. All right, height. Since he attacked you first, you get first shot at him. I got you. And we can't use all of them, obviously. We gotta fix this problem. I'm telling you. Oh. Four hits. That's it for you, buddy. Target down. Barbecue. Mission. Nice. So let's see what our loot table says. I think we got time to do another mission. We do another one skull mission. I think there's another one there we can take. I think it's a uh, base destroyer or something. So 349,000. We've got a cut. We've got a chance to pick up some stuff here. 500 XP each. That's kind of nice. Since we're so low level, 500 is a lot. So once again, we're going to pass by all the uh, mech parts. And we're going down a couple of medium pulses. I really shouldn't be looking for stuff I can use, but more stuff I can sell. Ferro fibers, I think, was one of the things that we were talking... Oh, light engine. I'm going to have to take that for sure. Um, ECM Guardian, too. Like, that's... That's good. Ferrofibrous armor was one of the things that we needed, but not necessary right away. Ultralight gyros, no double heat sinks. I think we've got enough endo steel. Supercharger. Hmm. It's only one ton too, right? Instability when destroyed, though. I don't really like that idea, but um, let's go for the fusion core. Take the money. Just do it. So one fire starter, two panther pieces, getting close to having a panther here. Two medium pulses, nice! SRM6 and then what we chose, so that's good. So not bad, we didn't do too bad on that one. Alright, 9,000 in repairs in five days, not bad at all. Yep, get your crew started and what we're going to do, since we've got a little bit of fluid cash now, we're going to go right to ship upgrades and we're going to get our first system here, power systems. This should always be the first thing you get. All right. Purchase, you continue. Ahead. Um, especially in Rogue Tech, really, for me, it's always power system first. Um, and if I'm playing with the with the normal pilots that they give you, you can go right to the second mech bay. Great thing about the second mech bay is that you can repair two mechs at once. Um, and it's 700,000. It's a fair bit of cash at the start. But it's only 10 days to complete, so it happens fast. But if you have mech warriors like I do, which are really low in experience, because I just hired the really low level guys. You can always go for training module second instead. 90,000 and they get 30 exper experience each day for 10 days. So it's 300 experience if you go with this first. Um, but you know 300 plus 500 is 800 and that gets you going from level 2 to level 3 and something. So if you have level 2 gunnery or piloting or something you can always raise it up really quickly. Um, so that can be handy. So I usually go for the training module second. Um, and then for our uh, second mech bay, which is probably what we're going to do here on, because we don't really have a lot of money. So anyway, let's go to the uh, Argo here real quick and we'll wait for repairs. And that works out perfectly just about. So one more day. There we go. Four days for ship upgrade, 70 days the financial report. So let's go to the command center, contracts. So this episode, we're going to go on the eviction one, which is the local government manufacturing facility on Blantleff is an illegal intrusion into our territory and a cover for military personnel and units. Our efforts to resolve this through diplomatic channels has been rebuffed, so we are now returning to a military solution. The facility must be destroyed. We should expect heavy resistance. They're not saying what's in the facility, but whatever it is has them riled up. Well, doesn't matter to me. I'm not going to knock it down. Okay, so, once again, we're going to negotiate. And, like I said, because we're looking for money here. Um, well, maybe... We're going to go this route, I think. Well, 
Chances are we're facing a lan one lance and turrets. The lance probably two light mechs and two vehicles at one skull or four light mechs. Maybe two of ten is probably enough. We'll go for the extra cash because I don't know how what kind of quality gear is going to be there. And an extra one choice in four parts might not equal another hundred thousand in sales. It might and it might not. It just depends, right? Um, forget it. Let's go for 314. We're okay for cash, so let's accept this and deploy. Command interface initiated. All right, next on the ground. Target is a nearby government base. All right, so once again, we draw the defenders out, kill them, then destroy the turrets, and then the base. So we're just going to reserve and reserve. And they're going to make us move in. Well, they probably don't even know we're here yet. So let's do... Uh, we can't get very far. That's a sprint with the fire starter? Really? Oh, that's not the fire starter. This is the fire starter. Derp. Okay, let's get over here. I want to use the uh, little... It's not really a mountain, but the hill there. Sharp, sharp peak there as cover in case there's turrets. Heads up. I got a sensor trace. You got the sensor trace, do you? So we want to stay behind anything that's going to give us cover because there's obviously going to be turrets here. Unless they're missile turrets, we should be okay. So there's our first mech. Let's get Vane Skater up there. See if we can spot this guy. Nope. Nowhere. So we're going to move. We're going to stay in the woods. We're pretty good cover there. It's nice being a shorty mech. Okay, another, ve another vehicle or something coming up here. What's up, boss? Let's get up here. Aye, aye. Support fire. Another mech. I'm hoping it's four mechs. Either that or a vehicle with some clan tech. That would be nice. Alright, so... Uh, once again, I'm going to reserve. I think we're going to try... Oh, there's... Something on turn three. So this is probably a turret here. Turn three turret. Um, as long as we're not in range, we should be okay. So we've all got good evasion. So I think what we're going to do is we'll reserve past the turret. So there's three mechs. Wish I knew what those guys were. So I knew who to prioritize here. Um, that's probably a, a goblin, maybe? Let's reserve past the turrets. Hopefully they don't fire. And of course, it's got to be a missile turret. This guy back here. And no hits. Good. So, first things first. Locust, two mediums, two smalls, full armor. Not a big deal. I want to find out what this guy is. If it's a goblin, I want to try and take him out sooner rather than later. Um, so let's move. Yeah. Now, can we get a side shot on this guy? Not really. Well, we don't know. So let's move here. That should give us a ton of evasion. And it certainly is a goblin. Three flamer pluses, two goss mag shots, and two laser cutters. So let's overheat this guy. Hopefully hit with at least three here. Two. Well, we need to follow up with the dagger. So um, we're going to rotate everybody on this guy, I think. So let's get the dagger over here. Uh, we'll unload on him. Let's get him over the line, hopefully. Maybe. And nothing. 
Really? Well, we got him a little bit over the line. Enough to think about is is the bad day that might be happening very soon. Um, now I want to just move away from the locust. So I'm going to sprint here, but I want to turn slightly so that he can't get around behind me as easily. And then I'm going to unload on this guy. 63% chance. That's awesome. Because we got that, I mean, in our left arm here, we have the arm weapon triple plus. And I think, if I remember correctly, didn't we put a, uh, yeah, a plus three energy targeting system. So, like, a full sprint firing through the woods, still 63% chance to hit. It makes a huge difference when you get those little um, uh, components that really give you the advantage like that. So let's move into the woods. Unfortunately, we're facing our back a little bit out, but that's okay. And we're going to unload on this guy, fire everything. You want to spook him, make him try and retreat a little bit, I think. The idea is just to kind of push him back. If he commits, he's dead. So let's do that. Actually, you know what? Since the de this guy's going first, we're going to barbecue him. Oh, okay. Feel free to shoot me, that's fine. Or try to shoot me, that is. So, we should easily be able to roast this guy. And since I don't have to worry about that guy attacking me from behind, I'm going to move over here slightly. So we have a little bit of evasion. And then I'm going to cook this guy. Hopefully we can get him over the line there. Two hits. Nice. So he's not firing, most likely. Oh, that guy's moving next. Nice! So we're gonna shut him down. We should have enough now. Commander? So we're just gonna walk it up here. Actually, not to there. We're gonna go to here, where there's no Roger. partial sight. And we're just gonna shoot him with everything. Hopefully we get him enough of those SRM6s on him to get him overheated. We don't need too much. Oh, come on, more than that! Oh, that's enough. Cool. So now he ain't doing anything. He's gonna power up and he's a sitting duck. So, once again, we're just gonna ignore the dagger. He's not really a threat. Of course I say that and you'll probably shoot me in the head. So let's just do this. Uh, let's... We don't have enough... I was going to say we should push him back a turn. Uh, do I really want to just kill this guy? Or... XL engine, fusion core... Let's try for a headshot. Why not? Oh, that's right. He's not... Uh, we just have to fire. I forgot. I thought he was shut down, but he's not. Oh, destroyed his left arm. I don't really think he's a threat now. I'm your so that last guy still hasn't gotten into battle yet, which is good. So we're going to move around this way, not turn our back to the dagger. Yeah. Unload on this guy over here. Got it, Commander. There we go. He's done. Next destroyed. So hopefully we, he'll get some half decent salvage off that guy. Not worried too much about those towers. Indirect fire are not really going to hit. So that's one third of the garrison. So they've only got two mechs left. Nice. So now we just have to decide who's our next priority. Now I don't know what this guy is, but let's find out. Let's just move like this. Not turn our back to the turrets. Just move in like this. And then, what do we got? Three chevrons of evasion. What's this guy? Spider 5v, two me. Ah, it's nothing. Alright, so we've only got three flamers this turn, unfortunately. So let's just hit him with the three. Nice. So this guy's not doing anything, pretty much. So their dagger's gonna go now. Or their locust, sorry. He's running. Chicken! Chicken! Alright, Vayne Skater, let's see if we can shut this spider down. 
stay behind the wall here or the hill. Just kind of walk it up. Still bad chances to hit. I don't know what we can do to improve this uh, dagger. We need to make them lighter somehow. I don't know how we're going to do that. There's got to be a way. Where are they going? Really, guys? Really? So, we're just going to reserve past the turrets, I think. The turrets can't see us. Then maybe we can see them. Um, those guys are just run away. Let them, let them run. No, we can't get in to see the turrets either. Can we see these guys? Yeah. I don't really like shooting mechs in the back, but uh, I like a straight up fight, but if this guy wants to run away... And we'll do the same thing with this guy. Let's just walk him out to here, keep him in the woods, just in case the missiles are shooting at us. Negate a little bit of damage, unload on this guy. That should do it, I think. Yep. So just a spider left. I'm not sure if he'll come back or not, though. If he doesn't, we can move in uh, height. Yeah, he's... Tell you what. Let's speed this up. Let's get that guy some bravery, and we're just going to speed in here. Um, so this way we'll see two turrets. Do we want to see two, though? Let's go... Is that going to get me a turret? No, it's not going to. I won't see the turret there. Here, though. Let's just move straight in. So that's a big hill right there. I didn't really realize that was such a big hill. So we can see this turret. Light laser turret, two medium lasers. We should be able to kill that turret. I think. This turn. That'll get me a building. What's going to get me that turret right here? Ooh. That's kind of a nice chance to hit. Won't kill it though, unfortunately. But I'll come pretty close and all I got to do is nip it with something. One missile will do it. Good to go. Not from you though. But let's move you in. See if we can actually hit the damn thing. We should do a little bit of damage, I think. With the SRM-6 missiles. Yeah, they do five each. That's enough. Okay, cool. Should be able to wrap this up pretty quickly, I think. We're just going to ignore the spider. He'll come back when he's ready to die. And we'll target the building. Try and finish this up. I think I'm plus one damage on these missiles. Yeah. Is that enough? Nope. Not quite. All right. Now, from what I understand, these flamers do a lot of damage to structures. So we might be able to take out, well, it's reinforced, I don't know. Got enough room for five. Let's see what we can get off this guy here. One, two, three, four, five. And it's enough. Nice. Bye bye. A spider. <laughs> the spider is just slowly walking back. He's like, I ain't going back there. It's not a place I want to be. Alright, we're unloading on this turret. Light LRM turret. It's only got like 50 or something. Not quite enough. Or it's got 100 and something. 103, I think. Yeah. All right, see yep. if we can get in to hit that turret. Where can I see that turret from? Anywhere? Nowhere? I can't see the turret. It's not going to happen. All right, so I guess we move in and shoot a... Uh, we'll shoot a building here. How much is left on here? 60. Let's just shoot this guy. So they're going to fire missiles at me. Oh, they used the laser turret on me this time. Okay. Flatliner. 
should be able to move in and LRM that last turret, or the second turret, third turret, I mean, this one here. It needs another 58. I don't think we're going to hit that with that many, but see what we can do. No, not enough. Yeah, couldn't be avoided, I guess. All right, let's see if we can get... Nah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I was going to take height around and try to burn the other one down, but... We must destroy the opposition first. Of course we will. How much does this building have? 200. And this one? 150. 200. Let's just burn this guy. It's close enough. I can only shoot, what, two? Three? I'm on him. How much does it do, though? 48 per... They're probably wondering where their spider is. <laughs> it's like, buddy, get back here. We're dying over here. Standing by. Wah. Commander? All right, let's get you down so we can see the other turret, but maybe shoot at that center turret as well. Anywhere in here we can see both? No. Well, let's just go, that. Going to full throttle. so we can see this turret. And we're going to shoot on it. Did I lose an arm? I lost an arm? I lost an arm. I just realized I lost the arm. Well, that's kind of stinky. I did not expect that. Well, that's turning this, this round into a losing proposition. Turret didn't fire. All, all the better for me. Probably because he couldn't see anything. Let's just Firing make sure we kill him. Yeah. Damn it. I guess that laser turret must have hit me. I didn't realize I lost the arm there. That really stinks. This guy just does not want to come back and fight. I, I, I don't blame him. But we're going to have to go and finish him off. He didn't move very far. Oh, they got reinforcements coming. That's what he's waiting for. Fine with me. Locked on. Reporting critical hit. The more the merrier. All right, we need to kill how many buildings now? One more building, so height can... Actually, you know what? Let's get height spreading up to the front so we can cool off here. I want him cooled off by the time we get up there. So you're going to do that. Okay. Now, Vane Skater, I'm going to move you... enough to shoot this building. Should be able to kill it, I think. I know I'm turning my back to them, but I think we'll be fine. Not quite enough, but we'll get them next turn. Not worried. And then Flatliner's going to move and unload on that spider. So we got three more guys coming in. All right, let's see what they do. I got four lights now. He's running again. That's okay. You run, buddy. Good to go. Because I'm going to shoot you in the back. No. Got to take the guns off the board here. Let's get rid of them. 84% unloading. On. Rear arm. Kill Done. Commander. Okay, so... I'm going to reserve this. See what they're doing. Alright, that's fine. You keep guys keep reserving. 
Uh, let's rotate a bit here. Just in case they do see me. Let's shoot this building and get rid of it. It's time to bug out. Get to the LZ for extraction. Oh, we ain't going nowhere. We got unfinished business here. I lost my arm. I gotta get some shiz back. Some shiznit back. Let's give him the good news, height. You guys thought you were coming for a fight. You were coming for the barbecue. What's this guy? Just a regular commando? Okay, well. Let's make sure he isn't shooting anything. That's a lot of lasers. One. Oh, only one? You're kidding me! Hopefully we get another turn on him. Okay, that's probably a panther. I think I want to get Flatliner in a little closer. Just going to walk him up. He's kind of in a good position here on a little bit of a hill there. You can see over the trees, basically. Let's fire into this guy. Weaken him a little bit. Alright, see what they're doing. Two Panthers. Oh, buddy. That's just sad. So, height, you gotta go first. We wanna turn this guy off. I gotta fix this flamer problem. Let's hope we, hopefully we hit him with four here. Four, nice. He's not having a good day. Someone's gonna get CT'd. Alright, ground zero, we're gonna move over a bit. Still want to get a red line here, so let's move here, I guess. 99% chance to hit. Oh, I'll take it. I mean, it's not 100, but whatever. Hit, Commander. Sure was. Oh, dude, really? That's just embarrassing. Orders. Uh, let's just fortify you back here. Roger. I don't want you in the fight. And we're just going to put some missiles on this guy. We're not even moving. There's no point. Welcome to my both, both lasers hit. Nice. Goodbye. Hope we can salvage that. I don't hope we can salvage that. What, medium lasers? Is that what you want? Yeah. All right, height. Let's show this guy why we hired you. All right, let's move. Yeah, we really got to fix this problem. Looks like you're out of position. Nice. Gonna punch, are you? Sure, why not? Jesus, 50, eh? Alright, respectable. Waiting for orders. I'm gonna walk around over here. Acknowledge. 79, 84 on this guy. All right, Bane Skater. Eh. Eh. Move him into a range that we can just kind of shoot at the sky a little bit. Maybe add a little bit of heat to him. Eh. Tagged him. Keep him hot. And we're gonna shoot uh, this guy back here. Should I move though? What's our chance? That's a pretty good chance. I think we're just going to stay still. Hopefully we can blow that torso off. So we don't have to worry about that guy now. His gun's gone. Solid connection on that one. Now they got to decide who's moving first here. It's probably going to be the guy that just lost his arm, yeah. Punch bot. 
Damn it. What did I lose? Double heat sink. Are you kidding me? Damage critical. Yeah, I saw that. Confirmed. Roger, Skipper. Taking it. I got you. At least we can use three flamers again. Three, nice. So this guy's done for. I'm putting one right in his back. Battle mech power up detected. Let's get some evasion going here. Roger, full speed. Straighten this guy's back and the small. We're gonna put both on him. Well, tit for tat, took a heat sink. And let's put you. Um, just leave you here. I uh, shoot this guy. It's really easy to hit him. Keep him overheated. I'm here. Now, can we get behind? We can. Going full throttle. Put missiles in this guy's back. Wow, that low a chance, eh? Whew. Okay, we'll shoot on him then. Come on, boys, let's finish this up. Head hit, nice. Knock down, nice. Another Out wound. LRM. Out of LRMs? Hmm. It's okay, you got two medium lasers. What are you doing? Okay, you change targets. That's good. Change targets all you want, buddy. We're good with that. Okay, so, Bane Skater, let's do your thing here. Shoot this guy on the ground. I know we don't have enough st stuff to do it with, but let's see if we can get a head hit on him, buddy. Let's do this. Come on, one head shit. One head shit. One head hit is all we need. Nope. Okay. That's okay. This guy wants to come around, we'll put one in his back, that's fine. Locked on. Your wow. Removed. Yeah, that was a bad uh, bad idea on that guy's part. Let's attack this guy. Go for the head. Three flamers is all we can use. Shut him down. So he'll stand up. Then we're going to use Flatliner with an offensive push to try and shoot that shoulder off and end this. Standing by. So we're not going to move. Just going to do an offensive push. Go after the torso, which has got five points. All we got to do is hit with one. Target acquired. That should be it. Yep. Nice. Enemy down. End of match. Mission. Alright, let's see what we get for scrap here. So we lost an SRM6. At least we got an extra 45% in here. So we lost an extra we lost an SRM6 and a haywire. Or was it the uh yeah, the haywire EMP. It really sucks. And we lost a double heatsink on this side. So hopefully we can replace those. So let's zoom past all this stuff. So we didn't lose any flamers. There's an SRM4. DNI cockpit, that's nice. Mealy gyro, come on, please be a double heatsink here. Nope. <sighs> Painful. Painful. Now what do I do? Well, uh, I don't know. Maybe the mag shot? It's got 10 rounds only. Um, hmm. I think we sold all our SRMs. We can always buy one, though. I mean, worst case scenario. Let's take the fusion core so we can sell it. That's about 130,000. Um, 
DNA cockpit, it's about a hundred thousand. Stealth armor, eh. Claws though. We don't really have any melee max right now, so I mean claws are really worthless, but although there are a million, so I could probably sell them. If we're gonna buy an SRM six, probably should do that. Don't have an EMP. Um ECM, stealth armor. I don't know, what do you think? Endo steel, we are okay with. Stealth armor, one extra. We well, we got that on the dagger already. I mean, we could put it on the fire starter. But it's plus six heat, heat per turn, so that's not any good. Or, we could put the. E I can't remember if we put an ECM on the. Uh, fire starter or not, it's been so long. Um, DNI cockpit, minus 10% damage. It's really only good against big damage stuff though, like... Uh, let's decide and get this over with. Let's take the Goss mag shot. Um, think that is what we'll do and just confirm that see what we get here so one two goblin pieces locust and a panther piece We're getting close to building a panther here extra flamer large small and endo steel well all the rest of it was kind of junk so I mean we could lower yeah there we go pantheon f panther 5t heavy rifle and flamer uh, let's see what that looks like. 18 grand of repair. We got the cash, so we're okay. Um, yeah, three days, 16 days. So let's have a look in the mech bay here. I don't know how long it'll take to strip this guy. Let's refit him. We didn't get anything with him, I don't think. Looks like we got junk off this guy. Oh wow, the arm hand, nice. So let's uh, repair all on this guy. So what are our hard points here? Two ballistic hard points. Three ballistic, four ballistic hard points. Three laser hard points and a missile hard point. Actually, not that's not that bad. The armor's not that great. I mean, 80 points of armor. But, I mean, we got the Ultra 5. Not that we want to throw it in here. We'd have to have, like, a really small engine. But... 126,000 to repair this thing. Let's do that. We're going to confirm the repair on this. And then we're going to take that spider that we have, or the the venom here. It's 35 tons, but real th like it's got four missile or four laser hard points, and that's it. I mean... And they're all in the shoulders too, right? It's going to have the same armor as the Panther. So we're really not gaining anything by keeping this in the front line. So let's just put that into storage. Confirm that. And then we're just going to wait here for our repair to finish. Those upgrades you asked for are online. Thank Panther. you. Let's have a look at the dagger now. I mean, it would be nice to rotate this out. Let's refit this. Because, I mean, we could take the SRM out and put it on the Panther. Haywire SRM 6. Now, what do we have in storage here? Do we have any SRMs? We do. So, we can replace the SRM 6. Upper arm can just come out. How do you... I guess you have to do it this way. So, I don't think we've got another... No, we don't. We have a tag, though. We got a tag already on this thing. So, I mean, we could move the tag from here to here. See, this thing's 35 tons, but it's got, like, no armor. So, we've got 
three tons to play around with. We could add a medium laser and two heat sinks. What do we got? We got we got a pulse laser too. I mean, like this guy's got energy hard points in the center too, right? Really, right now we're using them for overheat. Why do we have an extra ton of SRM ammo in here? Did we not pull these out? Like, why do we need this much SRM ammo? Let's pull that out. Like, this is what? 80 rounds, and this is like 100 rounds, right? So it's 180 divided by 12 is like 15 turns of firing, continuous firing, so we don't need that much ammo. So now we've got 4 tons to play with. I mean, we could... Uh, I don't know. Wish I had a double heatsink uh, engine here, or a double heatsink uh, kit here. Um, the speed is fine. I mean, we could put two heat sinks, two medium lasers, or we could put flamers. I mean, we could put a flamer or vehicle flamers even. There's like zero heat, right? Put, you could put one vehicle flamer in and two heat sinks. Because what's this guy's heat efficiency? It's pretty good, I think. Yeah, it's like. 31 alpha strike, but I seem to be overheating a lot, I think because of the sprinting. So if we put a vehicle flamer in the center torso, and then... Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to make this too complicated. Uh, we got a nice large laser here for something too. Maybe we can fit that on the uh, the Panther. Um, so vehicle flamer. We only got one small laser. I was thinking maybe two small lasers. We don't. I mean, we could put a second tag on it, but we don't have. Multi-target. We're already at nine days of repair time too with this, so let's just drop a couple heat sinks in. It should run totally cool now. Um, wait, do we have a second ECM? I think we can only put one in anyway, so it's not really going to help. We do have stealth armor, so let's just confirm this. It's ten days. It's a long time, but uh, we've got no real choice. I'll let you know when that's done. So Panther's up in three. Ugh, oh, 18, I mean. My Panther's up in three. Yeah, so what I think we'll do is we'll end, end this episode here. Next episode, we'll come back and we'll refit our mechs. We'll get our Panther up and running, get the other dagger, get the dagger back. That's like 28 days away. Um, you can see how we're running into problems now without having that second mech, mech bay up and running. So I think what I'll do is just manage the tasks here. Let's put the dagger up ahead. Uh, we'll worry about the panther afterwards. We'll have our dagger back. We'll be able to perform another mission in 10 days. Or 13 days, I guess. Right after the financial report. And then we'll worry about this panther afterwards. So let's end it here. And, uh, yeah. So if you guys like it, please feel free to leave a like. And uh, if you want to see more content, please feel free to subscribe. And we'll see you all later.